Hello students, now we will start the unit 3 of circuits and systems. The heading is graph theory. In this chapter you don't have to do a lot of things. First understand what is a graph, how to construct a graph from a circuit. Method of drawing its tree and selecting fundamental. Then to write down the incidence matrix, cut rate matrix, and tie set matrix. In exams, generally you are asked questions from these topics. Very rarely they have asked question based on the application. To solve electric circuits. So this topic will be doing at the end if time permits. So let's start. What is a graph? A graph is an interconnection of branches with nodes and is used for representing a circuit and later solving for currents and voltages, which is done using KCL and KVL. So basically, graph theory deals with interconnection of branches and branches with nodes. Now we will see what is a node and how do we consider a particular element as a branch or which element is not to be considered as a branch. Okay. Now the part of dealing with the currents and voltages is using KCL and KVL that is fairly asked and we will try to do it later on. First of all, resistance, inductance, capacitance, an AC voltage source and a DC voltage source. All of them are treated as a branch. Okay. But remember one thing. A current source is not there. Because a current source is not considered as a branch. Any point where three or more than three elements are connected. Three or more than three. They may be similar elements. They may be dissimilar elements wherever they are connected is known as a node. Now let's see, this is a circuit in which A, B, C, D are the nodes. Because we can see A is connected to R4, R1 and R5. B is connected to E1, R2 and R3. C is connected to R2, R4 and E6. And D is connected to R3, R5 and R6. Generally, the node which is in the lower part, they are known as datum node. Resistance and the voltage source are together considered as one branch in both the cases. In the case of CD, in case of AB. And all other branches have been named according to the resistance names R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 and R6. A graph is represented in this manner. A graph may either be a non-oriented graph as shown here or it can be an oriented graph as shown here. One may ask, how are the directions imparted? It's completely your choice. Look here, the voltage source was here and the current which should flow in this circuit may be from here. But you cannot be sure because when there are one or more than one source, in what direction the current is flowing cannot be known until you solve the circuit completely. That's why randomly we assume any direction and impart a direction onto a branch. But one thing you should remember, once you have imparted the direction, the direction must not be changed later on. Entire analysis, the direction must be synced. 